Welcome to Craft in America's Sunday Sound Streams. We have been hosting live music at the Craft in America Center for the past eight years. This summer, we're presenting a virtual mini concert series, and today we are thrilled to feature Amy K. Bormitt. Singer, songwriter, multi instrumentalist, and creator of Washington Women in Jazz Festival, Amy K. Bormitt is streaming live from Washington, D.C.
very much. That was um, some music that I wrote to a poem by Gwendolyn Brooks, a wonderful poet from Chicago and uh, the first black winner of the Pulitzer Prize. And it's called My Dreams, My Works Can Wait Till After Hell. Um, I wrote some new music for today that I, I really am so grateful that Craft in America has created this space for me to share with you. Um, and it's all about the space that is in between two things, the transition. Um, and I just am so excited to, to bring some of these pieces to life. Um, and I thought that that poem is, is so beautiful um, as so many of us are uh, dealing with our, our own personal struggles and, and uh, what, the, uh, what the future is going to look like. So um, a, a really strong poem by Gwendolyn Brooks. My dreams, my works will until after hell. Um, this next one is uh, something that I've been working on. I actually started writing it uh, a few years ago and I, I've changed some things up. And it's a love song um, about a uh, robot boyfriend. This was inspired by a trip to the robot conference at USC um, that my friend let me sneak into. I didn't even have to pay, sorry guys. But um, it was awesome, and I learned all about this uh, robot therapist that I, I met there. And she sat across the table and answered your questions and with an android with a moving face, and she could read your emotions. Um, and I thought that was fascinating. So, of course, now everyone is has moved all of their relationships online, and I keep thinking about all of these you know, dating services and how they're trying to adapt to moving everything online. So I just uh, kind of fiddled with this song a little bit more and made it about a robot named Rupert. Um, so there's two parts, but it's just me today. So um, you're gonna have to imagine that Rupert is singing and then Rose, who's a, you know, a human uh, looking for love, is singing the other part. So here it is, Rose and Rupert. <laughs>
from here. I need to get one of those applause buttons to make myself feel better, but I know that you guys are listening and I really appreciate it. So that was Rose and Rupert, um, my love song for uh, all my friends out there who are addicted to their electronics. Um, this is a song that I wrote thinking about um, being underground. This was before the, the bunker scenario, but uh, being underground is very satisfying and very interesting, especially right now as we all um, try to climb back in our in our groundhog holes. Um, so I wrote this song about catacombs. Uh, I had a dream where I was wandering in a catacomb and I, I, it was super dark and I couldn't find anything. Um, and then I started to think about uh, how <laughs> that related to my life. I'm gonna leave that open to interpretation, but... Um, <laughs> You know, we're all struggling to envision the future. So this is a, a piece about uh, being underground and uh, not knowing uh, where, which direction is, uh, is the right direction. So this is called Catacombs. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. 
well, um, what is next? Um, this is a piece that I wrote um, thinking about anxiety and the anxiety of growing older and, and, uh, and the anxiety of uh, all the things that have been put off in this time um, and how frustrating that can be because we're all so eager to get back to going full speed ahead in that weird sort of way. Um, and I don't really, uh, yeah, I don't really know how I feel about that. So I wrote this song thinking about what would be um, the most ideal uh, way of thinking about um, moving forward. So I think that if, if instead of being full of anxiety that every day um, we have to be super productive and we have to be doing all these things and um, make everything happen, uh, that instead we should think about uh, what every day we actually want it to feel like. So um, I wrote this song and um, I think that's all I'm going to say about it. <laughs>
that was um, my song about my magic reverse aging potion. Uh, it'll be for sale on my Bandcamp page. Um, I have uh, another song that I um, I feel like is directly related to anti-aging creams, um, <laughs> and, but it's about um, I can take out my book. Um, it's a new new one that is about something. That's not it. Oh, here it is. Okay, right in front of me. Um, yeah, this is about um, people <laughs> and they, uh, the way that we um, think of uh, social media and how we advertise ourselves there um, and what we think other people are doing to advertise themselves there and uh, how, what a weird mind game that is. Um, so this is uh, called well, you'll figure out what it's called.
That's another love song, a love song for ambition. Um, okay, I'm gonna do one more. Um, this is something that I did not write. Um, but I love, so I wanted to, to share it um, with all of you today. Um, I've been, been playing it a lot and thinking about closeness and how much uh, we all miss crowds um, of people and how much we miss strangers. So um, yeah, this is a great jazz standard. It's not the pebble that excites me.
Thank you very much. I want to give a shout out to Matt Dievenberg, my amazing uh, producer man, and uh, Terry, of course, uh, from Craft America. Thank you so much, Craft America, and Terry for putting this wonderful series together. And I miss seeing all of you in, in person and um, for reals. And um, thank you. And have a great end of your weekend. Thank you for listening, and a big thanks to Amy K. Bormitt. Next Sunday, join us at 2 p.m. Pacific time for bassists and songwriters Maggie Hosbacher and Noah Reitman. Craft in America is a nonprofit organization with a mission to promote handcrafted work through programs in all media. Our Craft in America Center on West 3rd Street in Los Angeles produces six to eight exhibitions per year, featuring work by local and nationally acclaimed artists. The center also operates an education outreach program for public K through 12 schools and local colleges. Our Peabody Award-winning series has produced 23 episodes to date, and you can watch all episodes for free on craftinamerica.org and pbs.org slash craftinamerica.